Hello, lovely people. I'm Julie Grimm. I help people connect more deeply with who they are and then live that out in the world. And today I want to talk to you about awareness. So have you noticed that people are a little bit obsessed with mindfulness? Maybe it's just because like that's the sphere of world that of the world that I inter- operate in, but Everybody has apps for it and like a new technique and this other thing and it's like what is going on with all this mindfulness? Now, don't get me wrong. One part of it is about relaxation and stress response. Totally awesome. Like it's amazing for that. And another piece is connecting more deeply with yourself. Obviously, I'm super into that. But a huge piece of mindfulness is becoming more aware. Mindful, becoming more mindful of what you're doing and why you're doing it so that you can choose something different. All right, so mindfulness. It's kind of boring. Don't tell anybody I said that. It takes a long time, too. You have to practice it consistently over and over and over again. Isn't there a faster way to reach Buddha state enlightenment and awareness? Now, may seem sacrilegious, but actually there is. A life hack. An awareness life hack. Some dude thought up this life hack. Well, I don't know if he thought it up, but we'll just say for the record, he thought up this life hack about 3,000 years ago, some even say 8,000 years ago, in which case it was another dude, but I'll tell you about the 3,000 years ago dude. So he was daydreaming or meditating, I'm not sure. And he was like, oh my gosh, people need a life hack for awareness because otherwise we're just going to be like little snails squiggling around or little zombies walking around, not mindful at all, totally unaware of what's going on in our life. So he created this really awesome tool to help every single human, if they choose, life hack awareness. What? How come I haven't heard of this before? Well, for a really long time, as you can imagine, this was not something that was given out freely in the public, and it was only available to people that really searched for it, that really were called to it, um, and who studied in esoteric and, for the most part, closed systems. Up until the last 20 or so years, it's actually been open to the public. But in part because it's so unfamiliar to us, um, we maybe haven't been totally open to it as a practice. And also partially because we don't understand it. So, you know, when we want to be mindful, what are we, what's the outcome that we really want? We really want a physical behavioral change. Let's say that I've got my big fat hamburger option, or I've got my healthy, like maybe it's a stir fry with a light soy peanut sauce option. Okay. Now I always want to eat the hamburger because it tastes really good, but then I get heartburn. I'm getting a little bit obese and, um, five years down the line, I might even need a triple bypass surgery. So every time that I choose that hamburger, I'm getting feedback from my body and from the universe being like, "Eh, wrong choice, Eh, wrong choice, choose something else. And maybe it's after the 17th time I've had heartburn. Maybe it's after that triple bypass. Or maybe it kills me. Maybe I die and I still haven't learned that that is not the best choice for my body. Now the whole time we've got this great healthy choice just hanging out here. What's going on? I don't have enough awareness to see my options and how much the negative option is actually harming me. I also don't see why I keep choosing the negative option, which probably has to do not with the fact that I'm hungry and I want true nourishment for my body, but that I have some emotional things that I'm not dealing with. Maybe I don't love myself enough. There's some self-loathing there. Um, Maybe I don't feel good enough. I don't feel worthy. Or I'm too stressed out at work and there's some other things at play. Who knows what's going on? But it's clearly not about truly needing to nourish my body because if I were really aware and in touch with that, I'd always be choosing that good salad. So 
how do we stop choosing the destructive behaviors that are not serving us fast? Mindfulness will definitely get you there. Meditation, definitely get you there. And I want to say support you the entire time. But do you really want to wait till you have that triple bypass surgery to stop? Hell no. Ain't nobody got time for that. Mm -mm. So here's what can happen. You choose this other option that doesn't come in through the mind, but it comes in through the energy. Now, energy, you can think of it as like preformed thought. Thought isn't physical, right? It's consciousness. So energy, preformed thought, thought, physicality. And it moves like this, right? Energy affects thought, which affects physicality. I have a thought, oh, I'd really like to drink some beer and have a hamburger. I act on that thought. I'm drinking beer and I'm eating a hamburger. Now, what happens if I start to change the energy that's behind that? Maybe my motivations for having the beer and the hamburger are I overworked again this week, I didn't listen to my physical needs, and now I just want to numb out and gorge. So one area that I can stop that habit and have greater awareness is through mindfulness or meditation. Oh, checking in, I see that this is really a reflexive thing, but that could take a very long time to dig into. If I operate at the stage of energy, I've already gained a huge amount of awareness. Even before the thought enters into my head, I'm starting to become aware of what's really going on here, what emotions might be at play, what wounds or trauma or sadness or emotions might be at play. Um, and because of that, I have greater possibility to choose positively. Okay, so I'm going to make you guys a little graph. I made you one already, but um, when I show it on here, it shows up backwards because it's a mirrored camera. So I'm going to make you guys one live. Okay, so this is awareness. Da, 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 da. Okay, here's awareness. Here is Buddha. Buddha. You guys, I can't do this. Buddha. I'm just going to write a B next to it because that's Buddha. Okay? You see him? This is time to learn your lessons. Negative, positive, positive. Okay, so Buddha, he's pretty enlightened. He's got high awareness, and it doesn't take him any time at all to learn his lessons. That boy didn't need a triple bypass. He was all good. Okay, now down over here you have zombies. Zombies eat other humans. They don't have very high consciousnesses, and it probably takes them a very long time to realize that eating other humans isn't good for their digestive system. Like, they probably just, they probably will never learn no matter how long that they live. So that's too sad, that's sad. Okay, here, there's Trump. No comment. This is current U.S. political system. No comment. Um, oh, up here, that's cat. Cats, they're pretty enlightened. They get you to pet them and feed them and even scoop their poop. Pretty enlightened being, I would say. Okay, and here's somebody who's had the energetic the energetic initiation that I talked about. Your awareness goes up and it takes much less time for you to learn your lessons. You don't need that triple bypass, boy. You get the message early on. All those destructive relationship patterns that you keep running, oh, you bet me you're going to learn about that. And you don't even need to waste another 20 years learning about it. You learn it right away. You need to learn how to manage your boundaries. Oh, yeah, you're going to learn that real fast. You need to learn how to take career risks and really go after what your dreams are. Do it. And who else can I add in on this list? Here's maybe, here's maybe you right now today, okay? Maybe you're a little bit lower. I'm sorry. I don't want to, I want to put you down, but maybe you're not there. Um, okay, so, you know, what I've hoped that I've demonstrated to you is that 
This mindfulness craze is really a craze about trying to learn our lessons faster. And that's great. That's awesome. Keep doing it. But know that there's a life hack out there that there's a fast way and by short and by fast way I don't mean shortcut mm -mm, there is no shortcut the only way through your lesson is through your lesson however you don't need to have that triple bypass before you learn it when you become aware at the level of energy remember that's a level before thought before the physicality it means that you have the opportunity to interject and stop before all this negative mental chatter happens and before the negative ha thought pattern happens. And that is huge in terms of life hacking it. So if you want to ask me more about this class, the energetic bypassing, I don't teach it. But it's called Empower Thyself and it's an initiation, another crazy word that you probably don't understand. And it's an initiation into the lineage of King Solomon, this wild man who 3,000 years ago daydreamed, meditated, who knows, same difference, this life hack. So check it out if you are done running the same old patterns, if you are done running the same old scripts, and you want cat-like enlightenment. Much love.